that has been a carbon intake because you have a cocoa tree. It's gross, it absorbs uh, carbon. Uh, and actually, uh, a company committing to a zero carbon uh, footprint will reduce its emissions and at some point will have to buy carbon credits. But it doesn't have to buy as much carbon credits because you have been working for him in the beginning of the supply chain, absorbing carbon. Um, well, the presentation I gave on, uh, on Thursday, on Friday, is about how you can calculate the value of that absorption, and I think this is a value that belongs to the farmer. Now, this is also something very new, and uh, we're working on that, so, so these are things that are happening in the, in the future. And then there is the impact of climate change on cocoa production. I mentioned that earlier. Some countries, some regions, that are now producing cocoa, will not be fit for producing cocoa a couple of years from now. And various things are happening. First of all, there is a lot of research into cocoa varieties that can stand the drought and the heat that are expected in large parts of, uh, of uh, Nigeria, of uh, Ghana, of Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, and it's beginning to manifest, uh, you can see now already, that those areas where there is still a lot of forest they have the, less, the least problems with the, with the climate change. So, um, on the one hand, uh, as I said earlier, protect your forest. On the other hand, uh, agroforestry will become, uh, will become more and more